Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 6th of 2023. Well, it is titled Jupiter and Venus from Earth. So what do we see here? Well, what we see is two bright objects in the sky, and that's Venus on the right hand side and Jupiter on the left. And this is an example of a conjunction. Now a conjunction in the sky occurs when any two objects pass close together. And generally it occurs with planets or the moon, as you think of planet objects that move through the sky and they can have a conjunction with each other two planets can be close together, or a planet can pass close to a bright star and have a conjunction. So that gives us just a matter of positioning. It really has nothing to do with the positions of the objects in space. They are widely separated, but they may appear close together in the sky, giving us a very interesting view. And here we see one with an interesting image where the person standing up and out in the distance with one of the planets near each of their hands, each outstretched hand near one of the planets again with Venus on the right and Jupiter on the left. Now this was from the conjunction of 2012 11 years ago and the conjunction is happening again so they will happen in a regular pattern and in this case they were about three degrees apart relatively widely separated and now this at the conjunction that occurred this past week they were probably about a little less but less than a degree apart so even closer together and that just depends on the intricacies of their orbit. So as the planets orbit, they all have slightly different tilts to their orbits and positionings would be a little bit different each time. Now, if you can get one of these to line up perfectly, then you would have an occultation where one planet could pass in front of another. In this case, you could have Venus passing in front of Jupiter. Now that did not occur. You have to have everything perfectly lined up for the two to be exactly on the same line of sight. But occultations do occur, with one of the best known of these being eclipses, when Earth, when the moon, Earth's moon passes in front of our sun. And we call that an eclipse, but it's also a type of occultation. And we can get the same thing with our moon passing in front of a bright star or planet. So while those are interesting effects and very interesting to study here on Earth, again, they really have nothing to do with what's going on in space. It's just the way their orbits line up from our perspective here on Earth. So that was our picture of the day for March 6th of 2023. It was titled Jupiter and Venus from Earth. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Name That Galaxy. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.